What's up, y'all? I'm back with another video, and today I'll be testing out supporter accounts again. I appreciate y'all for the support. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to join my Discord. We're almost at 1.5k subs. We could definitely hit it within this month. Also, comment down below what you want to see next. I'm always open to do any video y'all want to see, so yeah. But other than that, let's get right into it. All right, so I'm on the next account, and so far, it's looking good. This is Yuri from inside my Discord. She is a moderator, if you don't already know, so yeah. But yeah, uh, she is a pretty good player. He has 44 thousand gems which is crazy she has a lot of the meta characters so yeah she has denji as the main let's look at her card so this is a great card right here this is a also a great card damn near perfect as well this is a great card it just needs cooldown assist cooldown reduction but it's still good without assist cooldown reduction so yeah it doesn't really matter she does have a lot of cards a lot i'm pretty sure she knows what cards she needs attached so she has the vine on karumi already and she has the vine on guts with which is great she has the vine on warlord which is great as well he is new meta she does need to awaken shadow monarch for sure she has a lot of great traits honestly her characters and traits are looking good so far she has it on the right characters so yeah she does have two robots fruits which is insane to me I did have to get Robot Fruit and Reaper Fruit on 300 pity each. Her fruits are great. She can use either one in either game mode that is used for. So yeah. Her accessories are pretty great as well. She only has one of Kurumi accessories, which is okay, honestly. If it had cooldown reduction, it would have been even better. It does have a lot of Guts accessories. I'm guessing this is her best one. Uh, Any better cooldown reductions accessories? This is good. This is also great. Oh my gosh. She probably definitely uses this. So I will be using this in dimensions now let's look at her pets she has three garu pets which is insane to me this is absolutely fantastic probably her best garu pet she definitely means this one for sure she has the new pet buff boy she has two of the shadow pets she could get another garu pet if she wanted let's look at her stat points she has 253,000 stat bonus points which is great we don't know that's basically the amount of stat bonus points you need to do next damage she just completed this seems like she completed all of these which is great let's just take a look at her stats real quick with the garu accessory attached so yeah her attack is great and her this cooldown reduction is absolutely great. She does have the 54% team attack. Boss damage is great. Cooldown reduction is great. Crit chance is great. And crit damage is absolutely phenomenal. She is on leaderboard higher than me. She is one of the best accounts I've been on so far. And I'll be doing dimensions and I will be using Shadow Marner and I will be changing my assists. This will be my team and I will be changing my accessories. So yeah, but let's get right into it. So she is pretty good in dimensions. She got 155 time, I think, which is great, honestly. Uh, there's nothing really I gotta say about her account. She knows what she has to fix and what she doesn't. I'll probably rate her account uh 9.7 out of 10. She did tell me she is working on something else. But other than that, on to the next. All right, so I'm on the next account, and it seems like he has good stuff. Does have uh dusk and guts. Doesn't seem like he's awakened though. He has robot fruit, which is good as well. So yeah, let's look at his cards. Uh, okay, three out of five. This is uh okay four out of five could be better this is not that good of a uh, gold card definitely need to work on your uh cards maybe you might want to evolve this card this is way better what i would do is save up 2000 raid tokens and evolve this card and use this from now on let's look at your characters uh you do have divine trait on guts which is pretty good honestly you don't have them awakened sadly so yeah you have vampire on christmas altar which is okay uh yeah you probably want to work on your traits you don't have the best of traits so yeah you have robot fruit 
Uzu at level 15, which is pretty good. So yeah, you have Uzui pet and you have good stats on it, which is also pretty good. It's level 43. Try to go for a better pet though. This is a good pet though. You have a good guts accessory. You probably want to roll for another one. This is not the greatest. It needs crit damage. This is a good dust accessory. Definitely use this in dimensions for sure. Let's look at your stat points. 74k, not that good. Try to get that higher. Definitely work on that for sure. Uh, definitely work on this. Get this uh, 5%. Uh, definitely work on this. Definitely need this. Work on raids. Got this. So yeah, just, yeah, just work on your uh, stat upgrades. For sure work on your stat points let's take a look at your overall stats so you have 27 percent assist cooldown reduction okay oh uh, you have 54 percent attack which is good you have that 18 percent attack team we have 44 percent boss damage which is also pretty good we have 24 percent assist cooldown reduction is that is good too crit chance is great definitely work on your crit damage not that good so yeah it seems like you're an okay player now we'll just be doing dimensions real quick just to show y'all his power real quick so we'll be using christmas altar as main I will be using Sid and Guts as an assist, so yeah, let's get right into it. So, you did pretty good in the dimensions, honestly. Uh, what I definitely will work on is your stat bonus points. Definitely need that 100k stat bonus points. Now, also work on your uh, card. Definitely try to use this card down here, for sure. Try to get better traits on your characters like Christmas Altar. And try to awaken these two. This should be your main priority. And trying to get uh, Karumi as well. Definitely need to work on your crit damage. Not that good. But other than that, honestly, I'll rate your account uh, 6.5 out of 10 could be better you just need to work on a few stuff stab bonus point should be a main priority right now also with uh guts awaken and sit awaken definitely awaken those characters and work on your treats but other than that on to the next so i'm on the last and final account honestly he does have guts he doesn't have him awaken he does have two of the good uh gem assists so yeah he does have phoenix fruit as well let's check out his cards okay three out of five not that good if this was attack would have been way better uh not that good of a two out of five uh this is a good two out of five would we'll definitely go for a better card uh this is a great this is a great three out of five let's look at your characters you don't have a lot of characters it seems like you're just starting off do have speedster on here i definitely try to work on your traits definitely try to awaken your character as well do have phoenix fruit which is great do have guts accessory which is great for raids pets you have gojo pet which is one of the best epic pets so yeah it's pretty good let's look at your stat bonus points Forty-five thousand. definitely need to get that higher seems like you're just starting out you could definitely get this better for sure right now just try to hit uh i'll say try to hit seventy-five thousand right now that should be a goal right now let's look at these 
Okay, uh, so you definitely want to try to complete these for sure. These are really important. It has a big impact on your stats for sure. Now let's just look at his overall stats real quick. So 14% assist cooldown reduction, not that good. Attack, uh, pretty good for your level. Uh, uh, no celestial trait. Uh, boss damage, pretty good actually. Assist cooldown reduction, pretty good for your level. Crit chance, gotta get that higher. And crit damage, also gotta get this higher. But it's okay for your level. It seems like you're just starting out. So I'm about to run a quick dimensions real quick once you get guts awakened use him as an assist always in dimensions do have eden and reamer awakened i might i might just use both of them as an assist for now but let's get right into it So honestly, you're you're an okay player for your level. Definitely need to work on your stat points and stat bonus points. This is your downfall right now. Work on these for sure. Also work on your cards. Definitely get way better cards. They're okay for now. And try to get better accessories. But other than that, honestly, you're okay. I'll rate your account uh, five out of 10. You could definitely work on some stuff. You definitely need to work on some stuff. That's all I gotta say about it. If y'all like the video, subscribe. Road to 1.5K subs. We could definitely hit it within this month. Don't forget to comment down below what you wanna see next. And don't forget to join my Discord. I am going to do a giveaway soon. So yeah, definitely look up for that but other than that thank you for watching and peace out